this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video, I'm going to be joined by Esther and Lee Good morning, Lee Bear. How are you feeling today? If you're in a good mood, then just go absolutely crazy. <laughs> I guess that's about absolutely, uh, absolutely crazy as he could uh, be at this time in the morning. Uh, right then, uh, first things first, of course, I need to have my breakfast before we even think about doing anything else. Nom, 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 mm. Ah, fantastic. And uh, yeah, uh, today's episode, uh, I said in the last episode that I was going to, to go to the Funland and begin building, and I have changed my mind. We are not going to do that. Uh, seeing as uh, last episode was so uh, traumatic and uh, dangerous, I thought, tell you what, how about me and Lee Bear just go to the Funland and we just have some fun. We just go and play a bunch of our favourite mini games and just enjoy ourselves. How does that sound, Lee Bear? Because if you ask me, that sounds absolutely glorious. <laughs> right then, of course, before we do that, that I need to go and uh, head to my love garden, uh, then I can announce who it is I am adding to it today. And if you don't know what my love garden is, uh, basically the start of every single video, uh, I say someone's name uh, on the sign and uh, say thank you very much uh, for something. And uh, today that person is Grizzle Bear 1232 and that's because they made this really cool model uh, of me and a massive cake. And you can see there's a really cool Minecraft background and it's actually made out of tiny little foam blocks. <laughs> and I thought it was a uh, really cool way to, to make a model and I wanted to say thank you very much Grizzle Bear for making it and sending me the picture and welcome to my love garden. Right, off to the doghouse and I don't think I've ever been so excited about heading to the, the doghouse as I am now and that is of course because I now have Barnaby back. Barnaby is now safely back where he belongs uh, with the uh, the rest of uh, the other dogs and uh, yeah with me as well so I couldn't be uh, happier uh, that I have my lovely dog back and here he is. Welcome back Barnaby. Of course today in this video uh, you can join us as we go and head to the Funland. Uh, you may also notice that the um the house is looking a little bit better than it was in the, the last episode. I don't want to spoil too much uh, what happened, but uh, there was a bit of a disaster. And uh, yeah, luckily, uh, me and Liebe have uh, got all things fixed up. And uh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to notice that anything happened whatsoever. I did, however, notice this. Um, I guess it's been uh, uh, here for a while, but uh, you can obviously see uh, where there's been a tunnel dug under the ground and all of the uh, the dirt uh, has been knocked up and you can see all the way over there there's the sand as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I didn't notice that was happening, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, at the end of the day, everything ended up good and happy. Uh, right then, off to the uh, the fun land. So uh, as I said, it's going to be just me and Lee playing a selection of some of our favourite games uh, that we've uh, built over the, the last few years. And I never do this enough. I always say I'm going to. I always say... I'm going to spend more episodes just playing my mini games uh, rather than just building them, but then I never do. So this time I'm actually living up to my word <laughs> and we're going to spend an entire video uh, just playing games and not doing any work whatsoever. That does not sound uh, too bad at all, does it? Uh, right then. Well, the only thing we need to decide now is which games are we going to, to play. Um, I guess that we can only do the uh, the two player ones because it is just me and Lee Bear. Uh, how about how about we do the, the dunking booth? That's always one of our favourite ones. Yes, we have a, a quick game of the uh, the dunking booth. Right, uh, you can either be dunked first or you can shoot arrows first. So I'll just let you get into to position and then whatever you don't want to do, uh, I'm going to go and do that. So the aim of this game is uh, someone goes up to the top and it looks like it's going to be Lee Bear today. <laughs> and... Um, I need to go back and forth on this bouncy minecart. Uh, I'm going to sit Barnaby down as well so he doesn't jump in. And I need to try and shoot that target. And if I do, uh, then Lee, Bar uh, Lee Bear is going to go and get dropped into the giant fishbowl. And it looks easy, but I promise you, it is not. <laughs> it's really hard to aim uh, when you're bouncing back and forth uh, really quickly like this. So let's count uh, how many shots it takes me, and then we can see how many shots it takes Lee. Right, if I aim about here, and I'm going to fire now, and oh, that's not very good. That was one shot. That's two in the exact same place. Uh, there's three, and oh, did I hit it? Oh, I didn't quite hit it. Oh, look, I set it on fire, but I didn't hit it. <laughs> so that was three. Uh, this is four. And there we go. That one hit it. That was four shots. And now Lee Bear should get dunked. <laughs> there we go. He went and got dunked down uh, underneath. Oh, I think he had to dunk himself because uh, both the uh, the item frame and the uh, and the wall didn't actually land on the pressure plates. Look how many pressure plates there are. <laughs> how did it not land on that? All uh, right, then let's go and uh, put this uh, target back set up. Uh, so yeah, Lee uh, needs to try and do it in four or less. So if he does it in four shots, uh, then we're 
be drawing. And then if he does it in less, uh, he'll be winning. And uh, then if he does it uh, in more, uh, then that means, uh, yeah, then I'm going to be the, the winner. So let's go and uh, get back in a position. I am here ready. And uh, whenever you want, Lee Bear, uh, you can start firing the, the arrows. The really scary thing that it's very difficult uh, to see if he's hitting the uh, the target or not. You often can't tell until you drop. And that was three! <laughs> that was three shots. Uh, which means Lee Bear uh, was the uh, the winner of the, the dunking booth. He was always better at this game than I was. <laughs> I never quite got the, the hang of this one. Uh, but there we go. There's game uh, number one done. Let's uh, not waste any time. Uh, let's go straight ahead and go and play uh, another game. Um, uh, I always go, of course, on the uh, the orange and, uh, and white side. And uh, Lee Bear can go over there uh, onto his, uh, his green side. And uh, once again, Barnaby, <laughs> you better get used to this. I'm afraid you're going to have to sit down here. Otherwise, uh, you might get eaten by the ferocious shark you can see sitting down there. <laughs> and uh, for this game, uh, we need our, our fishing rod. So let me go and grab uh, a couple of these uh, in case one breaks. And uh, we just need to flick the uh, the minecart and try and pull it uh, to, to our side. So are you ready, Lee Bear? Right, Lee Bear looks ready. So let's begin in a three, a two, a one. Go, go, go. Let's try and get the, the shark. And oh, that was a good start by Lee. What I would do, I would do the first person to, to win three rounds. Let's do it that way. That might be a good way to, to do it. And oh, I'm doing well here. <laughs> you can see you can actually build up momentum. If you do it really fast, you can make it so it jumps over a few of the other uh, waves very quickly. And I'm so, so close. I've only got one more bit to go. Can I grab it? Oh, Lee's fallen in. He's fallen in the water. Careful of the sharks. <laughs> and I was able. To, to win. I don't know if I would have won if Lee Bear didn't fall in, but I don't care. It was a victory nonetheless. So if we're going to do best out of three, uh, we'll do another game now. And if I win, uh, then that means I'll be the, the winner. Uh, and if, uh, if Lee Bear wins, uh, that means we're going to have a, uh, a deciding round. So uh, Lee Bear, are you ready for round number two of Sharky Shark? He certainly is. Right, careful not to fall in this time. <laughs> and let's begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. All right, let's try and flick it all once again. He got a very good start, but I'm not too worried uh, because that happened last time anyway. And uh, I was still able to, to win. And oh, he actually pulled it back there as it was still moving. It's very difficult uh, to grab the minecart uh, while it's still moving. But what you can do is if it's going to the other person's side is you can actually just leave uh, the uh, the fishing rod down and it kind of just blocks it. But Lee Bear's uh, doing a very good job of getting it back to the middle but there we go you see what i mean how i kind of caught it you can kind of leave it waiting there it's a uh, uh, kind of risky though because if the person's quick uh, they can often get it before you but i'm doing very well now and there we go that was i must say myself a rather impressive performance of Sharky Shark, <laughs> which means uh, we're now one each overall. Uh, you won the uh, the dunking booth, and I won the uh, the Sharky Shark game. So let's go and uh, put away the uh, the fishing rods. I'm going to leave my shark here as my prize on my boat. And once again, uh, let's go and head straight to another mini game. Let's see uh, how many mini games uh, we can play in just uh, one video. Um, what should we do next? How about a flop? Do you fancy a flop? <laughs> I've never asked someone that before. He does! Lee Bear fancies a flop. So let's go and uh, play the uh, the flop game. This is a, another game that me and Lee Bear often play just when we're not recording, uh, just for a game to play for good fun. And um, uh, yeah, neither of us are particularly good at it, uh, but we always enjoy playing it nonetheless. And it's this game here. It's my colourful castle. And uh, inside, uh, this is uh, another game where we're using fishing rods. Uh, so let's go and uh, grab a couple of these. I could have probably just kept the, the old ones. And the aim of the game... So we need to go up to our, our sides. Uh, I'll be on the, the red side and Lee can be blue. And uh, you can see uh, that there's these pressure plates. And uh, when these are stepped on, uh, you can see that it pushes out uh, some blocks here. And uh, we need to flick fishing rods at these pressure plates uh, so it knocks out the uh, the blocks uh, to try and make the other person fall down. So you're going to be dodging back and forth and uh, trying to, to dodge uh, while trying to make the other person fall down. So let's do uh, let's do best of five this time, Lee Bear, and uh, see who the winner is. So I'm going to drop down and we can begin in three, two, one, go, 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 go. All right, let's uh, quickly get up the, the middle because that's probably where Lee Bear was going to go. And oh, there we go. I was able to get Lee Bear straight down. That was very good there. So that's one uh, point. To, to me. So Lee Bear needs to climb back up and he's dropped down already. Right, let's keep going then. As soon as he drops down, uh, we're going to, to start the, the next round. Um, uh, it's kind of hard uh, to get it to make sure it lands on the fresher place. But oh, Lee Bear didn't have any trouble then. Oh look, we both fell down. <laughs> That's going to be a point to both of us, which means uh, I have two points and uh, Lee Bear uh, has one, which means if I knock him down one more time, uh, then I am going to be the, the flop champion. Right, let's go and drop back down and let's go and, uh, and carry on. So if I keep going back and forth here, I want to be very careful not to fall down. Oh, you can see Lee Bear jumping at all. We both fell down again. <laughs> Tell you what, Lee. 
Seeing as it was so equal, let's have one more go and just say whoever wins this go is going to be the, the winner. And if we both fall down again, it's going to be a draw. I don't think that's ever happened before in this game. I don't think we've ever had it where we both fall down before. <laughs> it keeps happening this time. We're obviously both getting uh, getting better and uh, uh, getting better at knocking each other down. And oh, that was so close. I was so close to knocking Lee down there. Let's see if I can hit his side. There we go. Look at that long range shot all the way from here to the pressure plates. <laughs> it looks like I am the better flopper. Actually, I guess you were the better flopper because you were the one <laughs> doing uh, most of the uh, of the uh, the flopping. All uh, right then, uh, what we should do now, I think, uh, seeing as it's uh, about to become nighttime, we can have a game of flower power, and this is probably both me and Lee's favorite game in the Funland out of all of the games and it's this one over here so it's supposed to be a bit like capture the flag but instead of capture the flag it's capture the uh, the flowers so uh, if you go to the the lovely jubbly side uh, I'll go over here to the the sun kiss side and uh, this is a dangerous game this is a, a pvp battling game and so the first thing to do is to try and uh, empty out all of my pockets uh, into one of these chests so you're going to make sure Lee Bear take off all of your armor remember and uh, get rid of all of your weapons as well maybe just keep a, a little bit of food on you in case you get a little bit peckish during the game. And the aim of the game is to run around and you need to grab, uh, I think it's, uh, is it four flowers? Uh, or is it maybe three? Let me just go upstairs and have a have a quick look. There's a, if I jump up here, whoop, there we go, that's quite impressive. <laughs> How many flowers is it? It's uh, it's four flowers, it is four flowers. So you need to go and get four flowers of the, uh, the uh, of your own color and you need to place them uh, on the, the top here. And every time you place one, you switch a light on. So first person to place all four uh, flowers and light the, the lights up uh, will be the winner. Uh, but of course, during this, you can be attacking each other we got uh, some swords and bows that we can use to, to fight and you can also take your own color flowers to try and stop the uh, the other person from from getting them so I'm gonna go and grab myself a, a bow and uh, some of these arrows and I'm also gonna of course grab myself a sword it's only a wooden sword though so it's not a, a very powerful sword and uh, yeah what we need to do is that uh, we need to sleep uh, because then that way uh, when we take each other out uh, we're gonna respawn back in the game and uh, we can go and immediately uh, start uh, carrying uh, on the the game so uh, there we go I've had a, a nice nap I need to go yum yum and uh, eat some cake and oh Barnaby <laughs> hello Barnaby looking at me through the door you sit here Barnaby because I do not want you getting uh, angry at Lee and uh, think that he's actually fighting me we're only playing a game Barnaby it's all okay uh, right then Lee we can begin in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Right, I've pulled the, the lever, uh, which has opened both sides. And uh, so the first thing I want to do is I also want to grab my color, uh, but I also want to grab uh, one of his as well. So this way, uh, no matter what, uh, I've got one of these flowers, so he can't get me. And now let's go for a surprise attack. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready for me. I got a good hit on him. He's running away now. <laughs> right, I guess uh, I'll let him go for for now. I think I took him a, a little bit off guard there, but I did get one hit on him, uh, so he should be at least uh, slightly weaker than me. And uh, now let's see if I can go and bank a few of these flowers. As soon as you've put the, the flowers down, uh, they're not allowed to, to take them back. I'm a little bit scared. Now there's Lee Bear just putting his flowers on. There we go. I got a good shot. As long as I keep him weak, uh, then he shouldn't be able to attack me too much. Let's just try and keep hitting him with arrows. There we go. I hit him again. I might actually be able to, to take him out now. He's using the uh, the big flower for, for cover over there. Right, while he's distracted, I'm going to go down and I'm going to go and put down a couple of my flowers. I need to switch the, the lights on as well, uh, but I still have two more to, to get, uh, but there the ones are all the way over in his base. So I am going to have to uh, be brave and venture forward. And oh, I can see him. I can see you down there, Lee Bear. I can see you trying to, to run across. <laughs> all right, let's just go now uh, while he's gone to that side. And let's go and try and grab uh, a couple uh, of these flowers. I want to be very careful, though, uh, to make sure he doesn't get back to, to my side. Oh, actually, I've got one of his flowers. And oh, he's got one of his flowers as well. Right. That means neither of us uh, are going to, to be able to, to win yet until we take out the other person. That was another good shot by me there. And there we go. I was able to take him out. I'm able to take him out. I can try and now go and get my flower back, but he is going to be respawning and uh, going straight after me. So uh, I need to try and get uh, the uh, the other flower. There we go. I got all the flowers. I got all the flowers. Now all I need to do is uh, try and get to my base uh, before uh, he's able to, to come back after me. Is he coming? Where is he? I don't know where he is. This is really scary. <laughs> he's probably grabbing his sword and bow. And oh, there he is. All right, I've placed one down. I've got to turn the lights on as well. Oh no, I switched the light off. Have I placed this one down here and switched the light on? And I have won. <laughs> Game over. Over, Lee Bear. Game over. <laughs> that was a really fun game of Flower Power. I always uh, enjoy playing that game. And here you go, Lee Bear. Here's the, uh, the two flowers that I stole. I think uh, there might actually be another one still somewhere around here. Is it down here, maybe? Um... 
I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. There's still uh, this one down here. <laughs> There's always close and exciting games of a uh, flower power. I always enjoy this one. Right then, uh, let's not waste any more time though. Uh, let's immediately uh, go and head straight to the uh, the next mini game. Then, shall we? Uh, I need to, to remember to, to grab all of my things again, and of course grab Barnaby as well. We cannot forget about him. <laughs> I want to keep a very close eye on Barnaby from uh, uh, from now on. Uh, let's go and uh, put on my Stampy style boots, and uh, let's pick the uh, the next game uh, that we uh, want to play. How about actually? We play a game where you can join in, Barnaby. What do you say about that, yeah? How about we go and have ourselves a game of doggy hockey? Uh, the way doggy hockey works is it's uh, it's kind of like normal ice hockey, uh, but instead of a puck, you use a dog. So I guess in that respect, it's nothing like <laughs> a normal game of, uh, of hockey. But this is the uh, the little pitch down here. And so because the uh, the floor's ice, if you tell a, a dog to, to sit down on the, the ice, uh, you can slide them uh, around the floor and uh, try and push them into the uh, into the, the goal. Uh, the only problem is uh, sometimes they get stuck in the, the corner and uh, that's why we have the danger zones. And when the dog gets stuck there, uh, we can go and uh, press the button uh, to, to nudge the uh, the dog out safely and then we can go and uh, carry on the uh, the game. Uh, right then, let's go and uh, get ready, shall we? I am going to have some pork chops at hand uh, because if you've seen us playing doggy hockey before, you know that sometimes the dog has a tendency of getting stuck inside of the wall. <laughs> and so if that happens, we can make sure we can break Barnaby out and then reset the game. Uh, so let's do uh, best of three again, Lee Bear. Uh, best of, uh, of three goals uh, will be the winner. Right, so let's begin doggy hockey in three... Two, one, go, 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 go. Right, it seems a bit weird doing it with Barnaby. And oh, look, Lee Bash accidentally knocked Barnaby behind him. That's uh, quite good for me. And uh, we want to try as much as we can uh, to keep Barnaby away from the, the walls uh, so he doesn't get stuck in the, the danger zone. <laughs> and uh, the dogs absolutely love this game. You can see as I slide him around, you can see his tail wagging. <laughs> you wouldn't think that dogs like getting slid around the, the ice like this, uh, but they always enjoy it for some reason. And uh, he's got stuck against the uh, the wall now. Uh, all I need to do is uh, try and make it so I can get him up to the, the other side. Right, we need to, to do the, the danger zone to get him against the wall. And there we go. Safely uh, pushed back out and all to the middle. Oh no, he's in front of the goal now. He's in front of the goal. No, 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 no. I've got to be a good goalkeeper here. I need to try and get him away from my goal and back up to the other end of the pitch. I need to try and get him away from the wall. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't good. This isn't good. There we go. That was some some good goalkeeping skills here. And uh, there we go. Now I'm doing a, a good job of uh, trying to, to get him uh, all the way over to, to Lee Bear's side. Right. I need to use the, the danger zone again. And there we go. Pushed out safe and sound and immediately straight against the wall again. <laughs> and back to, to my side. We always have uh, quite back end uh, and forth games uh, when, we're, when we're playing this. Right. I need to be a good Good goalkeeper again and try and keep him out of the, the goal. Uh, try and get him back up to, to Lee Bear's side. Oh, he's got stuck back in the, the danger zone now. Right, if I kind of just stand here, I can block. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he scored the goal. <laughs> you can see the, the lights have lit up, which means it is now 1-0 uh, to, to Lee Bear, which means... If he scores another goal, uh, he's going to, to be the winner. Uh, but if I score next, uh, then we're going to go to a, a final uh, deciding round. So let's go and uh, sit uh, Barnaby back in the, the middle like that. And uh, if we go back against the uh, the goals, we can begin a round two in a three, a two, a one. Go, 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 go. All right, let's go and uh, charge in again. And oh, Lee Bear jumped straight over Barnaby's head and left the goal wide open. <laughs> Lucky he was uh, very quick to, to get back again. But that uh, could have been a, a disaster. For Lee Bear. And oh no, he's pushing all the way down to my side as well. He's back in the, the danger zone. Uh, let's very carefully try and get him out of there. And uh, here we go. Now we've got a chance to try and dribble it up the uh, the pitch. Lee Bear is doing very good defense. Well, I guess it's offense, but it's not letting me attack. And oh, he got it in the goal again, <laughs> which means Lee Bear is the winner. Well done, Lee Bear. And well done, Barnaby, for a, being an amazing hockey puck. <laughs> I guess a, a, po uh, a hockey mutt, I guess, instead. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. That was an absolutely amazing game of, uh, of doggy hockey, uh, but I think we have probably uh, just uh, about run out of... Um uh, of time in the, the video, uh, but luckily uh, we were able to, to play uh, a lot of games anyway, we had uh, lots of, uh, of good fun, didn't we, Lee Bear? And, uh, oh, have you, you've got a, a book for me. Okay, Lee Bear's passed me a book. What does this say? Uh, Dear Stampy, I'm afraid to tell you that I am leaving. I have been your number one helper for years, but I feel like you no longer need me. I am going to travel across the world looking for people that need help. I will also try and track down hit the target so you and your dogs will be safe. Thanks for all the fun, Lee Bear. I left you a present in the in the chest. You're leaving, Lee Bear. Lee Bear's leaving. Oh, bye, Lee Bear. G goodbye. I can't believe that. That was 
that was so sudden. Lee Bear's leaving. He's been my my Minecraft helper for for so long. Um, that's really nice though. I guess he's gone uh, to go and try and find some other people uh, that need help uh, more than me. That was that was very nice of Lee Bear. At least uh, our final day together, uh, we got to go and play a, a whole load of uh, fun games in our in in our in our fun land. I, I definitely hope that I will see Lee Bear again. But he said he left a, a present uh, in the the chest as well. Secret recipe. <gasps> This is his cake recipe. This is how he makes his cake so amazing. At least I won't be going without Lee Bear's cakes. And at least I can try and follow the, the recipe. And I can go and try and make myself some cakes for, uh, for a change. So, uh, yeah, sadly, that is uh, the uh, the last we're probably going to, to see of, uh, of Lee Bear. So I wanted to say uh, a very big thank you to, to Lee Bear uh, for all of the uh, amazing help and fun uh, he's given me uh, over the uh, the past few years in my uh, my lovely world. I'm sure he's going to love uh, to read all of the, uh, the lovely comments uh, that you might leave uh, down below as well. Uh, maybe she share some of your favorite memories uh, that I've had uh, with Lee Bear over the uh, the last few years. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that is the, the end of this episode. So I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!